Hey everybody, Aiden's Aquatics here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got my aquarium this clean. This is a eight inch long Jack Dempsey female. She is a cichlid from South America. She's a South American cichlid. They live for a long time. I've had her for about five years. So this is what the tank looked like after. This is what it looked like before. So stick around and I'll show you guys how I did it. So in order to prevent you guys from having algae bloom in your tank like this and getting the water all cloudy, is make sure you guys have a light schedule and you turn off your lights. I left the lights on this tank for too long and because I also overfed the tank, what happened was the excess food and the fish waste basically acted like a fertilizer and then there's that huge algae bloom because of it. And it's like all photosynthetic as well. So if you guys turn off your lights for about three days, um, the algae bloom will go away by itself most likely, but then you're gonna have a bunch of dead algae in the tank. So you're gonna have to do a gravel bath. So as you can see here, I uh, stirred up the sand bed in order to get up all the detritus and stuff so I can just uh, take out a couple buckets worth of water. And then I just put in a ton of food as well because I'm going to be cleaning the tank anyway. And I want this fish to have a big meal because she's about to get pretty stressed out. And uh, it's my peace offering basically. So this is a 29 gallon bow front aquarium that I've had for about two years now. And as you can see, I have just this one fish in here. That's because she's very aggressive. The reason that she's actually in here is because she was eating all of her fry that she had a few probably like six months ago and then we only have a couple left and they're over at my dad's house now in his aquarium so the next time I do a tank tour it will be that one showing you guys how much they've grown so as you can see I scraped the algae off the glass before I siphoned and I did that so I could get all of that algae into the water column before I take it all out because if I were to do it afterwards it would kind of be useless so if you guys have any questions or comments I'd love to hear them if you guys could also like and subscribe this video, I really appreciate it. It helps the channel out a lot. And uh, I'll be showing you guys some more videos on my uh, Dempsey's and my cichlids. I have three different Jack Dempsey's and three different tanks because they're so aggressive. And uh, I'd love to do a giveaway to one of my subscribers, give away a uh, Jack Dempsey. But um, it's kind of a difficult thing to ship a live fish like that. So. Let me know if you guys want me to try and figure out how to do that or whatever. So as you can see here, I'm moving the siphon around a lot in order to make it so that the uh, strata in the siphon doesn't stagnate. Because then, you know, I won't be able to get up any of the detritus. As you can see in the tube, the more I shake it around, the more detritus comes up. So make sure to move that around a lot when you do it. So I kind of did something silly, I had the light on so that I could film myself doing this but I left the light on the top of the aquarium and I ended up knocking it off of the aquarium and it fell right back into the aquarium and I had to throw my hand in and grab it out all at the same time. You can see that it goes off inside the aquarium and everything. So that was a stupid mistake so I would not recommend it. You can see how dirty and green that water was, that's just all algae. From an algae bloom. And I was trying to show you guys with the light again, and I dropped the light once again. Pretty silly. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend keeping the light on. That was a pretty silly mistake. But I'm going to be showing you guys the aquarium now that it's nice and clean. You can see that she's a lot happier, a lot more vibrantly colored. The plants are a lot more vibrantly colored. Um, it's a really beautiful fish. It's a really beautiful tank. Uh, I have a bunch of different types of plants floating on the surface as well as that uh, bubbler on the surface to aerate the water. And I'll just uh, stop talking and let you guys just watch the fish from now on. Thanks for watching, appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.